All right, so your CR10 is clogged. I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to unclog that nozzle. All right, so first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> let's go ahead and head over to your settings. Let's try to get this adjusted. Let's go to control. Let's set your temperature. Don't worry about your bed. I have that set to 56 for another reason. Let's set your nozzle to a hundred and... I think 160. People said 180. I think this works the best. Go ahead and set that. Alright, so then now <clears throat> we'll go back up to control, main info screen so we can watch it and see the temperature rising. Now, next step is we need to go ahead and unscrew that. Alright? Alright, so as the nozzle is heating up, what you're going to need to do is get your wrench in here and start to loosen this all right now i use my fingers fortunately clogs happen a lot so i'm good with this <laughs> sorry for any shaking on the camera This is almost out. I'm literally holding the camera and doing this at the same time. Not the easiest, but it's done. So you're ready. Once this is unscrewed, I want you to just go and pull this up. And you should see your problem pop right out. Look at that. You guys see that? Now, very simple. Take it. Push it through here. You see that? Let me get this camera readjusted. Look at the clog. And it literally pulled out everything that was with it inside that nozzle. Well, that's how you get that unclogged, guys. It's very easy, very simple. Finish it off. Give it a nice little cut. Bring it back up and in. Screw it in and you're finished. Go and give it a few turns with the wrench. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. Don't over tighten this. There are aluminum parts. Do not over tighten it. All right, next step is go back to your control settings. Set it to 240. I already did it. I'll do it one more time just to show you guys nozzle 240 now we're going to go ahead and just make sure that everything is clean and clear when the filament is coming through all right i'm going to go and set this back on the stand so you guys can see i i don't know if you guys can see the filament closely enough but if you can the goal is that you want to make sure that this filament is coming out as straight as possible with no cuts or indentations. Sorry, that was minor dingy in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and push a little bit more through and let's see how this stuff is running out now. It's looking pretty clean. That's it. So we know that the nozzle is 100% clean and good to go. You guys can still see it's a perfect line. It's not squiggling. You cleared out that full nozzle, got all the debris, all the junk out, and now you're fully set and ready to print.